Hey everybody, welcome to another episode. Today we have some powder coating that we're going to get started on. As you can see, we got a power steering reservoir and an overflow tank from a nice classic Mustang. I can't remember the year exact for what the customer said, but I think it's a 65 or 67. If somebody out there knows different, Please correct me. But as you can see, they're in kind of hard shape. We're going to turn around, get these all sandblasted, cleaned up, powder coated, and get them back onto his car so he can drive it this summer. So stay tuned. All right, here we are getting ready to take this power steering reservoir apart. It's very simple. You can see we've already got the customer was nice and put some plugs in the threaded holes. All we do is you twist the dipstick off of there which then loosens up that collar and that comes right out. Then there's a, a nut at the top. You unscrew that. Careful because there is a spring on the inside. And that takes the cover off. And we've got a rubber gasket there which does have to come apart. So carefully just go along, carefully pry it out of there. If there's spots that it doesn't want to come out, just and keep working around them and eventually you will get it far enough that it comes out Just like that. I've got a little bag off to the side here that I'm putting everything into so I don't lose nothing. And then we have our spring. And then there's a washer that was against the spring and the filter that's in here. As you can see it does say this end up, so when you put it back together, you got to keep an eye on that one. And then, that looks like everything from the inside. And it is. It's going to take some cleaning. Power steering fluid's not going to be very nice to the to working on it, but we'll get that all cleaned out, dried out. We're going to be sandblasting this whole thing to get rid of all that dirt. And then in the end, we're going to have a brand new, ready to go power steering pump for the, this customer. So, let's take this out back. We're going to clean it right out with the pressure washer. Get rid of a lot of the grease, oil that's in there. And uh, get sandblasting on it. So I'll show you shortly. All right, guys, we are getting ready to spray some primer on uh, these Mustang parts. As you can see, we've got them upside down. They've been outgassed. They've been sandblasted. Tubes are all plugged, masked off, ready to go. So, 
<laughs> Let me go grab a light. I'll be right back. And there, we've just sprayed some uh, some zinc primer on these parts. They're the kind of when they got here, they had a fair bit of rust on them. So we sandblasted them, got rid of the rust. The the zinc primer itself will help keep the rust down. And uh, next step, once that flows, get some gloss black on them and show you the reveal. So stick around. All right, so here we are. And as you can see, got the zinc primer sprayed. We did a partial cure on it. That way, when I go to spray the black on top, you're gonna have your cross link. Everything's gonna be nice and. There, and there we have it. They're all sprayed. So let's close the oven up, get this thing going, get some heat on it. And when we get back, we'll have a brand new looking overflow tank and power steering pump ready for the customer. So stick around. We're almost done. Next one, will, you'll see the reviews. All right, we are done with these. However, I do have to uh, make an apology. I thought they were for his uh, older Mustang. I was talking with a customer and he said they're for a 93 Freightliner, not a Mustang. So I've been saying they were for the whole time, but apparently they're not. However, enough of that. Here's what we have now. Nice high gloss black, nice shine to it. See the reflection right in it. Completely different than what it was. There's still a few spots where the rust had chewed away at the, the metal itself, but you can see the reflection in there, showing how smooth and shiny that is. And even that was left all nice and clean. So if you like that, you like what you're seeing, want to see more, let me know. Click like, click subscribe, help me grow this channel. The bigger the channel gets, the better. Once I hit 500 subscribers, I do plan to have a giveaway. And whether it's going to be a remote starter, CD player, set of speakers, maybe some free powder coating, hard to say. So click that subscribe button, help me grow this channel. You'll see more stuff like this. And uh, I've got some good stuff coming up too. I got a couple sets of rims that are coming. There'll be two-tone, some Kawasaki parts, a few other parts that I'm not gonna say anything about yet. So stick around, we'll keep that suspense there. So till next time, stay warm and keep it loud.